Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. In this one, I will be explaining to you about the letter R. The letter R in the English alphabet represents creativity. Creativity in the form of how you are able to make a boring work a bit interesting. That will be seen in this letter formation. How your mind represents creativity and how it is able to make a simple task a bit more fun. That will be seen in the letter today. So let's hop on to the video, change perspective and carry on with today's lesson. The letter R that you see in front of you represents creativity. Now why does this letter represent creativity is because of its ability to have two different formations and yet have the same meaning. Very rarely do you get such a letter structure in the English alphabet or rather any language alphabet where the structure can change and yet it can have the same meaning. Now let's see how exactly we can use this factor of the letter R to our advantage and how we can be a little more creative in our work and day to day life. First we need to understand that the letter R comes in the middle zone. The middle zone is where we write most of our letters and it comes in between these two lines and in this section. Anything that goes above this line is called the upper zone. Anything that comes below this line is called the lower zone. Now in the middle zone, the letter R which is forming in this structure has its starting and ending points in the lower part of the middle zone. And this letter formation has the starting and ending point in the above or higher part of the middle zone. So whenever you're having a connection to this letter formation, it gives you a chance to use either of the structures depending on what letter comes. So let's take an example of the letter A and R. If I write the letter A and I connect to the letter R, I can choose this formation to connect to letter A. If I'm writing OR, I can use the other formation of the letter R to make the connection. Now there are times where you will use this R for connecting to letter A. Now let's see how it looks. Or this R to connect to letter O. You see what's happening? As you have connected the letters, the part of the zone is very important. If you do not keep the part of the zone in mind, the letter structure now looks a bit different and it almost is not recognizable as a letter R. It could be mistaken as a letter S or letter N. This R has gone into the upper zone. So whenever you're trying to connect the letter R, make sure that the formation that you use is ideal for its connection and then the misunderstandings will be avoided. This is the major advantage of the letter R. It will help you to refine your creativity and despite of your creativity being unique or new, people will understand what you're trying to do. If your creativity has been expressed but people are not able to understand, try to check whether your letter formations have been connected in a odd connective manner. Just remember that this R connects with the lower part of the middle zone and this one connects with the higher part of the middle zone. Based on the connections or the letter preceding the letter R, you can choose which letter to choose. Yes, there are chances where you can use the letter formations for the letter coming after the letter R in connection. So let's say if you're having the letter E, this letter R is easier to connect to letter E compared to this. You see there's a bend in the structure. It doesn't look too bad but there's a difference in the meaning. This is more fluent and this is a bit uh, a bit miscoordinated. So this is highly recommended and this would not be recommended. It depends on the letter structure that comes below before and after the letter R. And accordingly, you can use the correct structure to use in the connection. 
now let's say if you have done the connection correctly what do the loops in the letter r mean the loop is the actual point or the actual place where the creativity happens so if you have a have a r which is healthy and which is good in nature it's got a reasonably well made loop structure which shows that the person likes to express creativity and his creativity is quite unique to him as the letter structure r becomes thinner then you're going to have a bit of a trouble expressing creativity and these people's creativity normally is out of experience rather than a new intuitive mindset there are times when you will have a r which has got a retrace retraced creativity means that only the person who is trained to think creatively can express something in that form so if you have a child in your classroom or different children in a classroom and you can see the letter r formations you will know that this child can create a paper boat even without being taught he will try to make different folds into the paper and be creative as he is just thinking about it this child will try to make something new but he will have difficulty this child will possibly make the paper boat only as his teacher has instructed there's nothing wrong or good about these letter r formations it's just a different mindset this is very good for following rules and regulations and this person's creativity is a bit more easy to accept these people's creativity is really unique and sometimes their creativity takes time to get acceptance now there are some formations of letter r that almost look like a v this is actually a letter r but it looks like a letter v this is when the person's anger or frustration is overpowering his requirement for creativity and the way he is doing his work differently is on the basis of some sort of irritation some sort of a analytical ability people who have an r like this are almost having a compulsive desire to be creative rather than just being a free will when you are in an in, inter in the entertainment industry or you are in the creative arts creative field if you have this sort of letter r it shows that your passion is not flowing as strong as it should and therefore the creative designs that you do will be not as good as they can get so you can practice either of these formations either this one or this one the first or the third one and it can really help you to express the creativity in you there's another formation about this letter r that can that we can understand what if the person has a r like this there's a c formation coming where there should be only a line this is where the person wants his creativity to have a some sort of a social acceptance if you go back to a video which i had made about the letter c letter c represents social environment or how the mindset deals with social environment now when you have a r letter r that has included with the letter c then it shows that this person's creativity has a desire or a requirement to be accepted in public the problem is that this angle which is made over here it creates a bit of a stress so whenever you having this letter formation if the angle is more than 90 degree or if it's a bit more smoother you will be able to express creativity without having any stress the moment you put the letter c formation in the letter r it creates a stress and this person may get a bit rude can get a little uh, hasty in the way he expresses his creativity and there's a desire to get public approval social approval rather than just enjoying the act of creativity improving the angle into a 90 degree formation or making it smooth can actually heal this point of view so let's change perspective and summarize what we have learned today all right so we have learned about the letter r and if you see there's so many formations 
Of course, there are much more formations that we can see in the letter R because of its structure and uniqueness of having two formations in one letter meaning. Keep a lookout for different formations and I'm sure you will find much more than I have taught you here. But these are the formations that are most commonly found in the handwriting. Have a look at this letter R and see if you can take advantage of this formation and improve the creativity within you. Creativity is actually the child within you who just wants to do something differently. So if you keep that child active, if you keep him alive, you'll be able to bring any work into a new formation and you'll be able to enjoy life a bit more. From a simple act of eating food to going to dinner, to completing your work, to writing a letter, anything that you do can have a creative twist to it if you use the letter R formation correctly, especially during the connections. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, do click the like button. And if you'd like to receive more updates about the letter formations and graphology overall, just subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.